good evening and welcome my name is Sandra my channel is called Sussex Sandra and welcome how are we all doing are we all doing all right yeah you sure good that's what I'd like to hear I know I've been away a while I seem to be giving this excuse a lot recently but yeah I know I've been away for a while I must admit I got put off a little bit because my American beauty boxes um, for which month for January they got lost they for some reason ship it to which is the company that I was using in America to handle my my um, products I buy in America to ship to me in the UK for some reason when it got to the UK um, instead of it going to the normal couriers which was which would normally be every or yodel but more often than not it'll be every it went to Royal Mail and this happened in December as well so it went to Royal Mail and guess what they managed to lose my whole bloody box all of my January American boxes so like 300 quids worth of products went disappeared gone kaput they have no idea where it is literally have no idea so to, to put in an insurance claim because I always insure my products and I'm so glad I do so I, I, I so to to get to claim my my money back or shipping costs or something back I need to get proof from Royal Mail that they've lost it so they did they sent me a confirmation that yeah they don't know where the box is so assume that it's lost I sent that to Shipper to Shipper to then got in touch with Royal Mail over here so I don't know what they do they're, they're going to do their own investigation they confirmed yeah it's lost and you know what I was really surprised I thought they would just refund me my shipping costs but they refunded me my shipping and the value of all of my boxes so I always put that see yeah this is when, when people want to really do a con they could really do a con but I didn't um I just put down the price of the each subscription so cost of each subscription so like the ipsy glam bag is 13 dollars so there's two of those there was two ipsy glam bag pluses which was how much were they again they're 30 dollars each and there was my um Oh, what do you call it? It wasn't my icon. No, it wasn't my icon. It was another box as well. But I can't remember. It was about a hundred and fifty, hundred seventy-five dollars worth. So I got my shipping and my cost of my boxes refunded by Shipper Two. I got that back yesterday. I was so pleased. Cause I wasn't expecting to see that money for ages. I, you know what it's like when people when you try to claim money back from people. It's amazing how quickly they take money out. But when it comes to refunding, they take months. So I wasn't expecting to see that money back for months it was in my account yesterday so I was like excellent so what I did um, so all of my February American boxes um, they I'd already arranged for them to go to ship it to so I've done that so I've consolidated all of those and what I've done this time rather than do my new my normal two-week delivery I've done express deliver delivery which means I'm going to get a custom charge which really pisses me off because I'm going to get a custom charge which is going to be about 80 quid even maybe up to 100 pounds I don't know what but I used that money I got back so I did the express delivery um, which is actually cheaper than a normal delivery but it's made up with the custom charge more than makes up for it um so i should get that hopefully by middle of next week so hopefully from next weekend i should be able to do my february american boxes so i should be back on that again and then going forward in the future i'm using another company now called my us so i've got my american address there um, my us has been going for a long time i've never used my i think i did use them once and i did find it very expensive shipping to was much cheaper but I don't know the other companies so I've transferred to my US so my my March boxes will be going to my us.com and I will see how it goes and if the shipping is ridiculously expensive for my March products I might just stop doing all the American beauty boxes overall because I, I enjoy the products but I ain't here to spend a whole load of money on shipping costs i'm just not here for it I'm not here for that at all i want to enjoy the products not pay for shipping right but we're not here for that 
are we? No, we're not. We're here to do my look fantastic. So we look fantastic is one of the one of the more premier UK boxes. They've been around a long time. So look fantastic is owned by the Hut Group, um, and the Hut Group own look fantastic and glossy box. So they're the two. The, the OGs of the um, UK BT boxes and um, they also ship to America and to Europe now so you know, they're, they're spreading their wings far and wide so with look fantastic I know the price has gone up I know the price has been up recently I cannot remember how much the prices are I'll put the prices up on the screen but I know that I pay £13 a month because I've signed up for the year so I'm paying £13 a month per box typically you'll get five to six products in a box usually deluxe sample size products and there'll be a range of products you'll get inside the box so it's, it's a nice little treat to get each month isn't it so before I go into the March box let me just show you what um, let me just do a quick little review of how I felt about the February products then um, because I did receive two boxes last month so we look fantastic we did get six products first product was the blending drop sponge I haven't started using that yet actually I don't think I've started using anything in February's boxes but it was this sponge which is really cute it's like a heart-shaped sponge like that um haven't started using it yet because i'm still using my other sponges um but i have got it here to be used so it's something that will get used when i get my beauty boxes i do tend to give a an initial score sort of first impression kind of score and then after a, a month or so i will go back and do my my full thoughts and i'll give a prop, another score so how i do my scoring system i'll give one for a product that i'm going to use i've enjoyed using it's just a product i'm using cool it gets a score of one if it's a product i'm not so sure about or if it's a product that i personally am not going to use but i'm going to give it to somebody in my my close immediate family like my daughter my sister or something like that close friend i'll give it a score of half or if it's a product that i've tried using and i ain't that keen on it i'm not that happy about it and I initially i might have given it a one but because i'm not that keen on it i'm going to drop the score down to a half so we've got a score of one for we've got a score of half for or we've gone to a member of a family and then we've got a score of zero for a product that I know I'm not going to be using or it's a product that I absolutely hate or it's a product that I've received it before, I have no need for it, I'm going to put it in a giveaway. So it gets a score of zero. Ideally, we're looking for the full score for a box, aren't we? So we're looking for five out of five or six out of six, depending on how many items we get inside a box. More often than not, I'll be happy if I get at least over halfway. So if I get six items in the box, if I get four, I'm happy because you know, at least this is four items I'm going to be using. Does that make sense? Yeah? Cool. So this sponge is something I will be using, so it gets a score of one. Next product was from Nude Sticks and it was an eyeshadow pencil. Um, um, it had a whopping price of £21.99. I haven't used it and I did put it bomb. Well, yeah, I, I intended on doing a big old giveaway in in uh, February, but that hasn't happened. So it's going to be transferred to March, but it's gone into my giveaway. So there will be a giveaway this month. Assuming nothing goes wrong with my American Beauty boxes when they arrive, but there will be a giveaway this month. Sorry, excuse me. It's been a really long day, so I've got some wine here because I damn well deserve it. You know, I haven't drunk alcohol in, well, since Christmas. Oh my God, that tastes good. This is that red wine I got in my um, Degusta box in February. That's nice. B ink, it was called. Very nice. Very nice. Very smooth. All right, so that eyeshadow pencil stick <laughs> from Nude 6, it gets a score of zero because um, I'm putting it in a giveaway. Next product was the Balm Stainy App Lip Stain. I don't know what I've done with that. I know I tried it on in the actual video. I think I put it on my lips and I think I put it on my cheeks. It looks all right. It was okay. Nothing special. I haven't reached for it since. So I'm going to give it a score of half because it wasn't something, you know, I can't see me using it that often. I've got too many products for me to be using that. So I will give it a score of half. And it's one of those products where I wish that I just put it in the giveaway rather than sort of trying it out. But I think I was kind of feeling bad. It's like, I've got to try something. You know what I mean? So that got a score of half. Next product was from Monia Skin and it was a beauty balm which had a whopping price of £42.95. So like 43 quid. It's like yikes. Monia Skin is one of those brands that tries to be tries to be like an Elemis. 
not quite there but they do try to be like that they come with the prices like elements but they're not quite there so the beauty balm was something that was nice i think i used it on my hands and i think that is how i'm going to be using it it's too rich for my face because i've got very very oily skin in case you haven't noticed by the shine um i've got very oily skin but on my hands it felt lovely and you know they you know you can always tell how old a woman is or if she's old or not just by looking at her hands so it's one of those products that i'm more than happy to use to moisturize my hands my hands deserve good skincare too so that will do i'll put it on my hands next was a product i was really pleased to to receive um oh I, i'm giving the money skin a one because i am going to be using as i said on my hands the next product i was really surprised to see but also very pleased to receive and it was from grown alchemist and it was an age repair matcha tea day moisturizer um this product i probably won't be using for myself because it's probably too rich for me to use as a day moisturizer as i said i've got oily skin but if you've got dry skin great absolutely great um, and they do say age repair it's just not for my skin it's just too heavy but it was a deluxe size it was worth 14 pounds so again that's something i'm pretty certain i put in my giveaway so some one of you guys will be receiving it at some point in the future but growing alchemist as a skincare round they're very fancy quite expensive trust me have a look on look fantastic site you see how expensive the the brand is but it's a brand i really enjoy because i have been using it for a good couple of years now at least because i've been getting the products from my american beauty boxes um, and i get full sizes of the products haven't received that one but i have received quite a few products and i am literally coming to the end now of a, um, a grown alchemist night cream which i've loved using it's just mm, just lovely um so yeah it's a great brand really really great brand so it was really nice to see that in a look fantastic box and i'm hoping they will put more brands like that in our look fantastic boxes rather than sort of cheap nasty horrible brands pr proper quality brands in there so i was pleased to see that but for me personally i'm not going to use it i have put it in a giveaway so that gets a score of zero and the final product was from Umberto Giannini I always say it like that and it was a banana butter sort of cream so it's something for people with curly hair normally curly textured hair again um, it's a conditioning cream it, it would be very heavy for anyone who's got fine straight what I'd call type 1 maybe even type 2 hair I think it would probably be too too heavy for that but again even if you've got very dry hair or if you've coloured your hair it's something that you could probably put some on your fingertips and then use it at the ends of your hair just to moisturise your ends because the ends that tend to get all the damage and that will break as well so if, you, if you're if you looking at growing your hair and you want to maintain that growth retention moisturise the ends on my type hair so type 3 type 4 hair so sort of more curlier type hair this is great to use depending on how if you're like sort of type 2c upwards um you probably use a little bit and put it in your hair just to moisturize scrunch your curls give it some definition give it some moisture give it some shine the drier your hair so more curly your hair so sort of we're going from the type 3 b's down to like my type type 4c hair you you're gonna put some of that in you're gonna get in there and moisturize your hair because my type of hair needs all that moisture and hydration that we need so for me that was a great product of course i haven't even used it my daughter's been using it so no surprises there so we get a score of half right what are you thinking about the new haircut i decided that uh, i want to give myself a break from wearing braids so i just got my hair cut what do you think yeah i like it i think it's i think it suits me easy to easy to maintain so i'm quite happy with it and i've got my hair dyed as well got the get those greys sorted i'm thinking that i'm 54 but no one needs to know how old i am do they so I can hide it a bit, knock off about five to ten years by getting the greys covered. All right, let's get into this month's box. So, of course, we've got a card to scan. Um, I had to open it to get the scan out. This is how the box comes now, because it looks fantastic. We used to have these lovely coloured boxes, which were great for storing items. If you see how many of those boxes I've got upstairs. But we're not getting those now. Sustainable. We've got a recyclable um, box now. So let me just get into the site. I already opened it and scanned and here we are so before I start going through the items I'll have a little read summary of the message from the editor so the theme this month is was it I can't remember what it was I did see it the theme this month was was it beauty no limits no beauty has no limits that was the theme this month and the message was something like 
here we go here at look fantastic we're entering the lighter months yes um, with a real spring in our step as the cold begins to thaw it's got bloody cold what's she on about um it's time to welcome the fresh slate that arrives with the new season giving us longer days and bluer skies while enriching our lives with new sense of optimism our new March monthly subscription box is here. This month we're encouraging you to ditch the drawbacks that no longer serve you and embrace all that makes you feel empowered. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So now you view yourself. So, oh sorry, how you view yourself means everything and you deserve some little luxuries to help you recognise and unlock your fullest potential. Um, I'm not going to read anything more because she starts going into tips about the products in the box. So let's go with the first product, which I can see it's from one of my favourite skincare brands in the UK. It is Emma Hardy. Let me make this screen a bit bigger. I can't see it. So we've got Emma Hardy Plump and Glow Hydrating Facial Mist. And it's anti-pollution. Well, I suppose that's better than blue light, isn't it? So anti-pollution. It's a deluxe size. Can you see that properly? Um, so Emma Hardy Plump and Glow Hydrating Mist. This is 30 mils. This is worth £13.99. It's, it's a more premium brand, so that's why this is worth £14. What is it? Um, instantly quenching, um, thirsty, what's it say? Thirsty complexion. This ultra fine hydrating mist spritz skin and spritz skin with a plumping blend of hyaluronic acid and aloe vera, shielding from environmental aggressors and leaving behind a luminous glow. I don't really need a luminous glow, but I do like spritzes, so I will use it. Um, how to use it, hold 30 centimetres from the face and mist over skin with closed eyes after cleansing and before serums, oils and moisturisers. So that's all good. Um, so, yeah, so yeah, that's the first product. I'm more than happy with that. I will be using it. So that is cool. Next, we've got something from Neom. Why can't I make the screen bigger? Why are you being naughty? Oh, here we go. So this is from Neom. Let's find it. Oh, it's tiny. The picture looks so big, but it's tiny. Again, it's a deluxe size. Um, Neon Perfect Night Sleep Overnight Facial Cream. I'm not going to keep this. It's worth £12. So this is a brand that's actually quite expensive again, but I don't put this in the same same level as, say, the Emma Hardy we just saw, or the Grown Alchemist. But it's an expensive brand, but it's preferences, isn't it, really? It is, it's just down to taste. So what is it? Wake up to your best skin with a magical midnight facial treatment packed with potent actives and powerful natural extracts, plump, firm and restored Thai skin whilst you dream deeply with an expert blend of seeker, ceramides and hyaluronic acid. Um, skin looks and feels well rested for up to 48 hours of moisturisation. So apply nightly over the perfect night's sleep face oil. I mean, to be honest, I would, I would use this and then I'd go in with this. So that's how these two would be used. So that's fair enough. It's all right. It's a nighttime cream, so I might use it. But God, what am I using at the moment? As I said, I'm still using the Grown Alchemist, but it is nearly finished. So I might go in with this. Whether I'm going to finish using it this month, I don't know. Because these products last a long time. So good. Right, next, what have we got? Oh, got a makeup palette. Um, wet and wild. Good lord. And it's some colours I would wear. Bloody hell. Coming with the makeup again. I'm a bit shocked here. So this is from Wet and Wild, colour icon, 10 pan shadow palette, two shade variations. So you're gonna get one or the other. I mean I'm glad I got this one because it's more my kind of colours in there. Um yeah, there's colours in there which I would definitely wear. Um, so what we got here, and this is worth £6.99. So Wet n Wild, an affordable brand. I don't know if they're um, cruelty free, because I know there was a whole thing about them a couple of years back, whether they're cruelty free or not. Um, I think they used to claim they were, but I think they allowed testing in China, so... Oh, well, it says made in China, so no, it's not cruelty free. Not at all, right? I think they've given up that ghost. So this is full size, yeah? Um, Wet n Wild colour icon 10 pan shadow palette. You've got two shade variations and it's worth £6.99, so seven quid. What is it? Featuring 10 coveted shades of butter soft pigment, this eyeshadow palette mixes sultry shimmers and smooth mattes that blend together effortlessly to take your look from day to night. Um, so you just apply your shadows as normal. 
I mean, those are colours I would use. So those four colours up there, straight away, those are my kind of colours. Very, very autumn, but those are colours I would wear every day. Easy, easy. Um, I'd wear these three colours here as well. Um, they're saying this is a transition. Probably not a transition on me. That's not a transition on me. These two colours would be a transition on me. That's not a transition on me. And what they're saying this colour is? They're saying this colour is a transition. It's a little bit light. I could try to see if it would work on me, but I think it's a little bit light. If it had a little bit more depth, it would be a transition on me. But, oh, I don't know. I, I really don't know. But, yeah, I'm going to give this a go. And um, I will wear it at some point. And I'll let you guys know how I get on with it. Well, hopefully at the end of this month, I might be able to try some of the products, makeup products, and do a proper review. But, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm not making any promises because you know what I'm not already. Okay, what else we got? Um, is this Moroccan oil? Oh, it's Moroccan oil. Cool. It's all right. So Moroccan oil is just argan oil, but it's usually argan oil mixed with some other products, and it's not pure argan oil, which is what I prefer. But again, it's a good old product. So this is Moroccan Oil Treatment Original 10 millimeters. This is worth five pounds, this little bottle here. And what is it? This award-winning multi-purpose treatment can be used on wet or dry hair. If used with argan oil, the lightweight formula helps to replenish dry hair and boost shine. So again, know how I was saying how to use the Umberta Giannini buttercream? You can use this the same way. So again, if you've got type 1, type 2 hair, use a little drop of this, rub it in your hands and just put it through your hair. And honestly, it's so good to use oils in your hair. Um, doesn't matter what type of hair it is, but you don't go heavy, especially if you're type 1, type 2. You don't need to go heavy ham just use a little bit and just give your hair a little bit of shake it, de it detangles this makes your hair soft and it's nice you know it's all good on my type of hair you know we can we can go a little bit of ham we can use this this wouldn't last no time with me but again it's all right it's a, it's a nice product i tend to not use moroccan oil i stopped using them years ago after when they first came out because they do mix their product with other things um so it's not straight up pure moroccan oil Let's have a quick look at what it's got here. It's got cyclomethene cone. I don't know what that is. That's a, some kind of silicone product. I don't know what it is. Probably something to give it slip. Oh, then you've got dimethicone. Gosh. Um, then you've got the argan oil. So the argan oil is actually the third item in. So it's not even like the, the biggest ingredient. Then you've got, um, what's this, kennel oil? What kennel oil? Then we've got some sort of fragrance. Yeah, this this is why I don't use it. So it has got argan oil in it, but it's not the majority ingredient. It's it's the third ingredient down. Um, but yeah, it's something that will good to make your hair look good and feel soft. But if you're looking for nourishment, it's not 100% pure. So just be aware of that. But again, it's all good. It's all good. Again, I'm only saying these things from my perspective because I try to, when I use products in my hair, I want to know exactly what it's doing in my hair. <laughs> Um, and I don't know what the dimethicones and thingy-majiggy thingy cones, I don't know what they do. So I try to stay away from them. Right, next. What we got next? Seems to be a few more things in the box. We have got... Oh, is this... What's this? What's this? What's this? Two makeup items, Physician Formula, right. Physician Formula is a brand I don't normally associate um, with black people because they don't tend to do products that work on black skins. So what is this? This is a Rose All Day Petal Glow. So it's like a highlighter and it's in a colour that, you know what, I could use. I could use this. It's a deluxe size. This is deluxe size. It's huge. Actually, I, I know it's deluxe size because... I've seen the size of the products and they are bloody massive. You can't get through them. Um, they are huge. Let me show this to you. Shove off and get, get on with that soon. Right, so that's what it looks like. And I'm assuming it's like a highlighter. You've got a little puffy, or maybe not a highlighter. It's something you can put over to make your skin look glowy. It's got a little brush. So maybe, I don't know. I don't know how you want to use it. But that's the color. It's, yeah, I mean, I could use it as a highlighter, definitely. Um, maybe put it on my shoulders during the summer to get that kind of extra glow kind of look. But, okay, 
So I said I've never used phys Physician's Formula because I've never seen anything that I can use on my colour skin. So what is it? So this is Physician's Formula Rose All Day Highlighter, 9.2 grams, and there are three shade variations that you could get in your box. And it's worth £15, £14.99. What is it? Packed with pearlescent pigment, this multitasking highlighter instantly illuminates the skin and eyes with its brightening kakadu plum and calming rose water blend. How to use it? Apply to eyes and cheeks with your fingers or a fluffy brush. It's deluxe size. And then we've got our crappy little freebie again. Um, so they're saying it's a deluxe size. So what is it this time? This is a moisturising lotion for normal to dry skin, sensitive skin. Not for me. Developed um, for dry sensitive skin types, this lightweight non-greasy formula hydrates from top to toe with its replenishing blend of vitamin E and pro-vitamin B5. How to use it? Massage gently into dry skin after a bath or shower. It's worth £1.22. There's a couple of other little things in here. Um, we've got a little perfume sample as well from Black Opium from Yves Saint Laurent. Looks like someone's been spraying it already. Or, or do they normally come sort of half filled? I'm sure I've seen these and they're definitely more full, but that is half full. But let's... I don't think I know this fragrance. I know it's been around a long time, but I don't actually know the fragrance. It smells all right. It smells all right. Eau de perfume, so it's the more expensive one. It smells all right. Not not something I'd go out and buy, but hey, nice to receive a perfume. Cool, cool. All right. That is not a bad box actually. Oh oh oh! Remember, I'm, I did this every time, don't they? So this is the either wall. So we're gonna either get um let's have a look. So you can either get Invisible Bobble original hair ties or we could get first aid beauty KP smoothing body lotion. Well I hope I get the invisible bubbles. And I haven't got any of those. So maybe my perfume is it. Um No. No, no invisible bubbles for me. No invisible bubbles for me. Oh, I want some invisible bubbles. Oh, I see. Right. So I always do this every month. So you're going to get what's in the box. So you'll receive six of the following products. Right. So, is that right? I'm not sure, guys. I think I should have received either an invisible bubble or a KP smoothing cream. Um, there's no mention of the perfume. So I am a bit confused. I am confused. No, I think... I'm confusing myself here. I think this was the product I could have received, maybe? I'm not sure. Not sure. So you, you could either get this, I think, which is 14 99 um, no, that can't be right. No, I think the choice items were the Invisi Bubble or the KP, and I didn't get either one of those, so that was a mistake, but never mind. But I've got the Black Opium perfume, which I'd prefer anyway. But the Invisi Bubbles would have been handy because Kayla and my daughter they use them a lot. Summary of my box you can tell I haven't done a box for a while, can't you? I've got my highlighter, which is all cool, I will be using that. I will be using the eyeshadow palette. I have got the Moroccan oil, argan oil. I've got the night cream, which I might use, I am not sure. And I've got the um, Emma Harding facial mist. So I have got two, three, well, I'm not sure about this one. Four items definitely out of the six with that perfume bowl. lost the perfume already but four items out of the six I will be using and plus I've got the perfume which I probably will spray at some point so that's all right I'm not going to complain it's all good but there you go that's looked fantastic for March really sorry that was a very confusing unboxing but I haven't done it for a while so I'll get back into this the swing of things eventually but I hope you enjoyed that tell me what you think about the box down below and guys, take care. See you soon. On your way out, just give us a little like and subscribe. You know how it goes. Helps a girl out. All right. I'm going to take care. I'm going to say take care. See you soon.